Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. So today I, we are going to start our day one of Terraform tutorial series. So without further ado, let's go. So as our day one plan was that we'll understand what is infrastructure as code, why we use Terraform other than other IEC tools, why we prefer Terraform more, then how Terraform works, like what are the major components that are required for our Terraform script to run, how to install Terraform like on Windows, Mac or Linux, and then running our first Terraform command like Terraform version, just Terraform version or Terraform help. So let's go and let's start with this. So I've opened my sketchpad and Terraform tutorial date one. So what is IAC? IAC means now uh, IAC means uh, infrastructure as a code. Okay. Infrastructure as a code. So by this we mean that when we write, when we uh, try to create any resource on cloud, like I have to create a VM, virtual machine on Azure or on AWS or GCP. Then we have to do it manually by clicking some buttons, right? But this concept came of infrastructure as a code where we will write a code to create an infrastructure or to create a resource on cloud. Instead of clicking buttons and then creating that will require not only the human efforts, but more time. And whenever we have to create a same kind of resource, we have to do it again. So this infrastructure as code was introduced to resolve all these problems. First of all, we are going to maintain it in a version control. We can maintain the script in version control. So, Every time when we want to create same kind of resource again, we can use the same script. And it is version control, like there will be consistency. Whatever we have created, whatever, you know, uh, it is going to be created, everything is maintained. Even if we created something manually, there is a Terraform state file which helps us in maintaining the state. So we'll understand about Terraform state file, but there is everything is in a consistent form. Avoids re repeatable task. So as I said that if we have to create a VM of certain um, configuration, which we have created earlier too. Okay. So in that, for that, we don't have to... Uh, you know, again, run or click few commands or click, click buttons. We can do it by running the script. So, this has avoided us, this has prevented us, sorry, from the errors. Because sometimes while doing the things manually, we can make some mistakes. But maintaining infrastructure as code and then validating it before running it, it has, you know, reduce the errors that we can make that's why infrastructure as code has been introduced instead of doing things or creating resources manually so i hope what is infrastructure as code why it was why it has been introduced is clear to every one of you then why we use terraform why Instead of Terraform, there are many other infrastructures like Ansible, we have, we have Chef, we have Puppet, we have CloudFormation. But why we are preferring Terraform over all these tools? Because, first of all, multi-cloud support. It can be used for creating the resources for AWS also, for Azure also, for GCP also. Whereas cloud formation, if uh, cloud formation can only be used in creating resources in AWS. So if you're just using AWS, then you can use cloud formation. But 
again there will be a limitation that if suppose azure is introduced in a later stage we cannot use the same script now ansible ansible also has one limitation that it can be installed on linux server only the control node of ansible so in this way there are some other other limitations that because of that terraform has come into picture and has overpowered other tools declarative approach you know it when you see the uh, how we write the terraform scripts in you know later series you will see that it's very simple you just have to define that this resource of this this configuration i want to create and it will be created it's not very high level coding it's a very declarative kind of approach that we are going to follow so it's not very difficult you will see state management state management means that everything is managed if some post today i have used a script to create some resources and some other person of my team he created one resource manually now there is a conflict that whatever we uh, you know the state the actual state in which our cloud is and uh, the actual uh, the the code that we have you know according to our code there will be there should be five resources created but in cloud there are six resources created because one resources was one resource was created manually by the other team member now there is a state conflict but to manage this state of conflict that the state conflict should not uh, you know should not disrupt anything there is a terraform state file which help us in managing the state difference whatever is present in actual and whatever we have in our code how both can be balanced can be maintained through state management okay powerful dependency management if something is dependent on other resource uh, it can be managed easily in terraform and that we'll see in our coming tutorials that how it is powerful dependency management too okay so i hope this point is also clear that you know why what is infrastructure as code why terraform is preferred over other tools now our next point is that how terraform works so for making our terraform or our or for writing us script of or you know declarative commands for our terraform to work we should have a provider provider means for which so providers are like the plugins which help us to create to different uh, you know cloud providers if we want to connect to azure or if we want to connect to aws if we want to connect to gcp so there are providers we have to mention the providers and accordingly that plugin will be used to connect to those cloud providers second is resource resource is the main thing that we are going to create using terraform then we have modules what are modules modules are reusable piece of code so whenever uh, you know as we have in coding language functions we create one small small functions and those functions or methods and those methods or functions we can call it again and again in our main code so in that way only we have modules modules are small piece of reusable code that we can keep and we can call it again and again whenever required it can be called multiple times so it is made like that that it can be reused again and again nothing is hard coded everything is in variable form so that nothing is hard coded so that we can reuse it again and again that's the most important thing and second thing is commands we need commands to you know uh, run terraform right terraform init terraform plan terraform apply terraform destroy uh, we will learn about all these what all these 
commands mean in the upcoming series. I hope things are clear till now. Next thing we have that how to install Terraform version. Or, sorry, how to install Terraform on Windows, Mac, or Linux. So, first thing is that there is a Terraform. We go to official site of Terraform, and there, you know, for each, you know, for Mac or for OS, we have binary download. We go for Windows. We can go and download the zip file. This is for Windows. We will download it. This is one way. We download it, download the zip file, unzip it, add the path in environment variables, and then run Terraform version. To check whether Terraform installed or not. This is one way. If we have Choco installed in Windows, we can directly do Chocolatey install Terraform and it will install that Chocolatey is like a package manager, so it will directly install the Terraform in Windows. Similarly, in Mac we have Brew. If we do if you have Brew in your Mac, then you do Brew install HashiCorp Terra. So it will directly install. The Terraform, else you need to download the uh, zip file and you need to unzip it and copy it in uh, slash user slash local slash bin. So, all these steps I'll give you. In Linux, we have you know proper commands which will be used to uh, you can use these commands. So, I will uh, you know give you this. Uh, Link which you can use to install Terraform on Mac, Windows, or Linux. Okay, so let me do it for Windows. For Windows, we are going to download. Let me download this. Fine. I've already Terraform installed, so I won't do much, but yeah, I'll show the basic things. So I've created one folder. I have uh, kept the zip file over here, and then I'm going to unzip it. Yeah. After unzipping it, I have to add the part in environment variables. So. I have opened the environment variables. We will go to system variables, click on path, edit, and we will new and we will add a Terraform path over here. After adding, uh, so we will add the Terraform path till here. Okay. We will add this path, and after adding this path, after saving it, after saving it, we will just do OK and OK. And after that, if we do CMD, we do Terraform version. So it should give the version of our Terraform which is installed. So your version is Terraform is out of date. Uh, of course, the latest version we saw that it is 1.13.4. So of course, you can we can update it. But this is how. So this so. Our last part was that we will run our first Terraform command and this is our first Terraform command. We will do Terraform version and Terraform hyphen help. So it will give us all the commands, you know, which can be used in the Terraform. Uh, so first is available commands for execution listed below. In it, prepare a working directory for other commands, validate, check whether the configuration is valid, plan, show changes required by the current configuration, apply, create or update infrastructure, destroy, destroy previously created infrastructure. All other commands are like console, FMT, format, and we can check about more other, you know, commands over here. So, these are the two commands that we have run today. So, for today's day one, we have covered all the topics that I was supposed to cover. 
what I need from you is you try to install the Terraform whether you have a Windows, Mac or Linux try to install Terraform if you are facing any issue please let me know but try to co complete the installation of Terraform on your system and after just try that when you are doing terraform version the correct version is coming on your prompt or not so try to complete these two things by tomorrow and we will continue for day two which we have we have terraform basics to cover we'll cover the configuration file so for which we need the terraform to be there so please try to install it and let me know if you are facing any issue also let me know if this series was useful uh, this day one video was useful to you or not or if you want it more detailed or what all issues you have found please let me know in the comment section so for today's video we are going to cover day two in next video so stay tuned till then take care bye stay safe and let me know your views and your suggestions in comment section so yeah bye